What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic. Y'all know what it is. Check the description if you like to donate to the channel and continue our growth. You know we got the radio show coming, the live show first. You know going to some fights and you know giving off some shirts in that nature. And uh, the Facebook page the link is in the description. And also the new tech channel if you want to learn how to jailbreak fire sticks and APKs and learn about that stuff. Do it yourself. Um, come join the uh, channel. Click the link in the description. So all those links are in the description. And uh, apparently, I seen this post on Facebook in a, uh, in a boxing group. Um, you know, it says, you know, just in Erickson Lubin and Justin Deloach to be added to the Wilder Ortiz card March start at the Brooklyn Barclay Center. Official announcement um, next week. Um, I just have a, you know, this is a rumor. I'm not saying this come from a concrete source, but uh, I just don't see that happening. Both of these guys coming off a knockout loss. Uh, Lubin got knocked out versus Jamil Charlo and uh you know, Deloach got knocked out versus Nathaniel Gallimore, who's supposed to be fighting Julian J. Rock uh, soon on one of these cards. According to him, we did the video on it uh, late last week. Um, I know they had some beef, you know, over Instagram, and Nathaniel Gallimore jumped in the beef, said he had knocked both of them out. Gallimore also said they both was been, you know, well, at least Lubin was taken care of, just like J. Rock. Even though I think J. Rock had a tough time coming up, he fought some good contenders. A young prospect and journeyman coming up, but he said Lubin was, you know, taken care of, and that's why he got knocked out when he finally stepped out, stepped up in competition. Excuse me. Um, I know him and Deloach has been going back and forth for years. I know Deloach used to train with Ronnie Shields, left Ronnie Shields in the Plex Gym, and um, you know, I don't know who he's with now, but he got iced by the uh, Nathaniel Gallimore, who's a tough guy from Jamaica, who had the tough way up, fought some tough guys, and got real power. And Deloach, the uh, Deloach got stopped. We talked about that when that happened, that immediate fight reaction after that. But I have a tough time believing that Al Heyman is going to put two of uh, these young guys in the ring together, coming off knockout losses. You know, especially a, a, a very, very delicate commodity as far as Erickson Lubin. They pushed Lubin harder than they pushed Jamil Charlo for that fight. They had a lot of stocks saying he was the next disc. He had never fought a guy with a losing record. And a lot of people on came to my page and said that uh, Lubin was going to dog watch Jamil Charlo. And I'm telling people, like, it's levels. You can't skip experiences. Like when uh, those young guys like Haney and Ryan Garcia was calling out Javante Tank Davis and people really believed that those guys would have a chance versus Tank Davis right now. You can't go up there versus world, you know, championship caliber talent, elite, you know, prize fighting talent from fighting, you know, um, lower level guys and prospect and, and, you know, journeymen like that still. And you ain't really, you know, stepped up in the proper way. It's only a few guys that really can cut the corner early on in their career, you know, at a young age. And go straight and be elite prize fighting, you know, talent. And a lot of those guys with that ability still don't choose to take that route. And that's where, you know, Lubin got caught up in. Deloach had a loss in his career, early in his career and then got knocked out again. So he on this he on this last, you know, last leg, you know. So I I, I don't know. I can't believe this fight um to be happening. I, I can't see it, man. But if it is, it's because both of these guys got bad blood. They got heat for each other. I got heat for you, cuz. Like Jody on, uh, or is it Jody or Snoop Dogg on Baby Boy? Um, you know, you know, it, to me, that's not matchmaking one on one, but PBC has done it before. They matched, uh, young undefeated fighters. I remember J Rock was fighting a young undefeated fire. Marcus Brown fought that at Light Heavyweight, fought that hot ride dude that was a young undefeated fighter. Um, so they do do this. They will do something like this. You know, if the fighters demand they want to fight, I mean, Maybe Delos, you know, they said Delos took on Gallimore as a late replacement. And maybe that changed some things and had an impact on his fight. But both coming off hard knockouts and, like, demoralizing, you know, the knockouts, I don't see, um, you know, you know, this is smart matchmaking. But at the end of the day, when you got a billion fighters such as PBC and Al Heyman does, who cares? You know, why not, you know, knock one out your, uh, <laughs> out your back pocket and uh, say the cost somewhere so. And this is announced, and this is, and hopefully if they fight, this will be the co-feature or a televised bout on Showtime. And these guys ain't fighting for, you know, untelevised, uh, you know, no promo TV and short change. Because I know they've had back and forth on Instagram between Lubin and Deloach. Um, and I know both of them talent fighters, but I like to see them just take their time and build themselves back up. There's no substitute for experience in life. And that is no exception in boxing. Like I told you guys about Ryan Garcia, let him fight Tank. And when he get dog walked. You know, oh, he was too young. Same thing I did with, with Lubin and Jamil Charlo. I told you guys, Lubin was not ready. You know, you can't go from fighting, you know, mediocre fighters, fighters to fighting top opposition and think it's going to work. Look at Lomachenko, who was, what, 27, 28, 29, fighting Orlando Salido. 
and he cut corners to get a, a fight in his second uh, bout in his, in his professional career, even though he had some some some, uh, some professional fights in that uh, world boxing little you know, other league they had, but it didn't translate as pro wins. That's what she Warren did as well. They don't they don't go on your pro record. He still got walked, dog walk. You know, Salido still you know beat him up. I don't care how close it was down the stretch. Salido won the fight. I don't care about the weight or nothing like that. You can't just jump experience. And you know, Lomachenko's a great fighter, and he couldn't do it. And I don't think Lubin or Lubin is nowhere near Lomachenko. You know, say what you want to say, but um, let me know what y'all think of this. If this is you know factual and it's true and it does happen, they do announce this fight next weekend. What do you think about two fighters? Coming off tough knockout losses, fighting each other. Who you think will win, Deloach or Lubin at this point? We gone.